What is something perfectly legal that feels illegal? What is something perfectly legal that feels illegal? Having something of yours in your pocket while in a store that also sells that thing. I once brought in with me a bottle of water, and got hassled for it, and I was buying other items. So like yeah I really needed to steal that 30 cent bottle of water. Anyway, they checked the cameras and apologized rather run enthusiastically. Filling out government forms. Are the capture effect? Does that count as a sign? Are those street lights? Does that count as a car? Doing anything but in sight of a police car. They pull up behind me and I'm suddenly running a list in my head of all the illegal things I might have done. Registration? Up to date. Car inspection? Up to date. Am I drunk? No. You actually don't drink. Hi? Not today. Weed? Safely hidden at home. Driving when near a cop. Everyone in front of me feels the same way. Speed limit of 80. Everyone cruising at 85. Cop passes. Lights off. Everyone shows down to 75. I've had cops tell me they can't stand that. They want to go places too and everyone around them starts driving 10 under. Going into Costco. Eating all the free samples. Then walking out. It's legal but I feel like a scumbag when I do it till mayo. That's probably how they want you to feel, so you feel obligated to buy something. Bringing home a newborn infant. Dot but the catch is that it's gotta be yours, right? Just making sure, you know. But I'm pretty sure it's finders keepers. I still can't believe they do that at the hospital okay. Here's the human, off you go. Ripping off a few bananas before you buy them from the grocery store if you don't want the whole bundle. I once witnessed a friend of mine buy a single banana and I was shook. I did this all the time in college, especially before going out. It's the best way to get cash back. Only costs like 20 cents. You get your cash back with minimal spending, and you get a quick healthy snack. Walking through nothing to declare at the airport and having a nagging concern that just maybe you managed to pack 5 kilos of coke, a handgun. Several tons of pest infested fruit and 2000 cigarettes over the tobacco limit. It's always a gamble. But I've been lucky so far. I accidentally took a fairly large knife onto a flight from the US to UK once. In cabin luggage. And all was fine until I landed. As I was heading over to nothing to declare I was pulled aside. Explaining that away was tough. And it was confiscated. I don't see what the point was at that point. I'd forgotten to hijack the plane so what's the harm in me bringing a completely clean knife into the country? Conversely I accidentally tried to take a plastic knife from some fancy dress outfit onto a flight from France to the UK but was pulled aside by French airport security. Turning the light on inside the car when you're driving. I called my mom out when I realized recently it's not illegal you lied to me. You know what this woman says? Are you sure? My mom always told me it was illegal 53 years my mother believed her mother's lie and passed it on to her kids. 53 years. This seems like exactly the kind of thing that led to aboriginal peoples developing rituals to bathe in mud or bury the dead or something. Centuries from now we'll turn out the lights in our starships because it's illegal to blot out the stars. Driving 250 plus kmh on the German autobahn. Especially when crossing the border from another country and you can drive so much faster that you're used to from the country you made holiday in. Marrying someone for their money. Then divorcing them and taking almost everything. I don't love you anymore give me half your stuff. This isn't my original idea but going through customs at the airport you always feel like you've done something wrong like what if I accidentally have a gun. I don't even own a gun. But what if I accidentally have a gun? How would I explain that? Is this pen I packed on the list of banned items? What if it is? What if I accidentally brought a knife? What if I accidentally have fireworks? Walk into an Ulta beauty store and spraying some expensive cologne from the tester bottle before going to your interview. Update. No I don't overdo it. I like light smells. Too heavy and I get a headache as well. Something that's fresh because I want to feel like a new car going into an interview or a date or wherever I have that's somewhat important or gives a good first impression. I once went into Ulta and left with a full face of makeup from trying new things. I didn't buy anything and probably would have felt guilty but I was tipsy. Don't feel guilty. Feel disgusted. 
Samples are almost impossible to disinfect. Walking out from a shop without buying anything, for real. The worst thing for me is when I spend 10 plus minutes in a store looking for one thing and one thing only to find they do not have it. So I end up buying at least a soda. IDKY. It's like I know I've done nothing wrong, but I have some weird fear of being accused. Having a tank as your personal vehicle. Just buy one with a credit card. Don't worry about paying it off. They won't go after someone with a tank. Nobody will. Buying all chuhul for the first time when you turn 21. In the UK you have to be 18 to legally drink alcohol so when I turned 18 back in 2014 I bought my first pint but felt like I was going to court drinking underage despite having a provisional driver's license. You can drink at 16 in pubs if you're with your parents or an adult. Reading most all of a book in a bookstore and then putting it back on the shelf. When I owned a used bookstore I had several reading nooks with side tables, lamps, and big comfy chairs just for this. I'd argue that it would help more than hurt a business, especially if you found a way to monetize it, like by adding a small cafe-esque deal where they could buy pastries and drinks. If you set it up correctly you could make the atmosphere seem inviting and make the store more appealing by making it appear more busy than it really is. Taking more than one free sample. I always make sure to bring my fake mustache and hat. That's for free samples. Normal you. Mustache you. Had you. Mustache had you. Taking many napkins from a cafe restaurant and pocketing them to use as tissues. Pro tip. Starbucks and Chipotle have the best ones. McDonald's can be rough on the nose. My husband is obsessed with the high quality of the Chipotle forks. He keeps a bunch in his car for fork emergencies cannibalism if i am not mistaken you are not in the us you can consume someone's flesh as long as they consent yes please go ahead and eat my arm that one guy on here made tacos out of his foot and his friends ate it going through a metal detector always gives me anxiety even though i usually have nothing to hide usually an 18 year old marrying a 70 year old in many places in america a 14 year old marrying a 70 year old taking a free sample of food when walking past a food vendor obviously they're offering it for free and obviously there are no laws being broken but i just cannot help but feel guilty so i stand there after eating said sample and pretend to deliberate if i plan to purchase a meal there or not before slowly walking away once i've lost the attention of the guy handing out the samples calling a teacher by their first name like it's not illegal but it's illegal accidentally calling a teacher mom or dad turning left from a one way onto a one way with a red light going into a store to use the restroom without buying anything oh man the other day i was experiencing a number two emergency so i went into this little grocery store but couldn't see the bathroom so i asked the customer service person and she tells me it's over in the dairy section keep in mind that is the opposite corner of the store so i'm speed walking as fast as i can hoping to not poop my pants and then i hear her on the intercom customer service to dairy and i'm like what the f I just talk to customer service why are you sending another one over there and then I get there and I'm trying to open the door and this young kid comes and says yeah I just got her unlock that for you so I'm standing there trying not to let this poop run down my leg before I get to my final destination if I awful. My little brother is the type of guy to crack open a Gatorade to quench his thirst, browse around the store and then check out the empty Gatorade bottle at the end. My mom did that with ice cream when we were kids, so we'd have our sweets and shut up about wanting anything else. She'd place the MT wraps on the belt for checkout. Cashiers never had a problem with it as long as the barcode was intact and some other parents actually liked the idea. Ice cream best pacifier in a store full of sweets. Expressing my opinion on Reddit, I disagree. Using a VPN. Maybe not illegal exactly but I definitely feel a little shady about it. It will be illegal soon. First you'll be a rice or phone of some sorts though. Then a criminal. I'm old enough to remember the usser I fled from. Walking around naked in Alabama. I sure not it's actually legal. Whoa. I gotta try that. Having X with animals. Legal in 11 states in the US. Wait people do that? 
walking driving around illegal recreation state fully aware of the weed I just bought, my dab pen, and a new bong in my backseat uncovered and perfectly safe from being arrested for any of those, they can still get you with a ticket if your stuff isn't in a sealed container. Adjusting your pens when it gets scrunched up against your inner thigh on an airplane. I was on a flight this past Monday, middle seat between two women. I was worried that if I did adjust that I would end up on our public freakout was not a comfortable flight to say the least. Trying to lockpick my own house cause I can't find my key. Connecting Lego flat pieces sideways. Marrying your first cousin, in a lot of places, that is definitely not legal. Joining a cult, starting a cult, stockpiling firearms as a cult. Being a follower is fun but you make more money as a leader. Taking somebody else's full cart of food at the grocery store. You can literally take anything from anybody's cart before paying. Thanks for doing my shopping. Can you get your kids out please? Drinking Pepsi in a Coke glass. I don't give a damn. The Yellowstone Zone of Death is the name given to the 50 square me, 129.50 kilometers to Idaho section of Yellowstone National Park in which, as a result of a loophole in the Constitution of the United States, a criminal could theoretically get away with any crime, up to and including murder. Wikipedia, it's the open PvP zone, nice. Not tipping bad waiters, that shouldn't feel illegal. If the service is sheet no tip, obviously. Drinking a beer on the street in New Orleans. Cannibalism is legal in the US, provided you can find a legal way to get the meat. There was a guy who ate his own foot after having it amputated who did an AMA a while back. Smoking weed is legal, but for some reason if I'm doing it and a cop walks by it still feels strange. It's usually illegal to smoke in public. Cheating on your SO. Adultery is a UCMJ offense for those in the military. Carrying an open container of liquor in some cities. We walked around New Orleans with an open bottle of rum because it was cheaper than buying shots. 1% of the world population owning half of the world's wealth. Turning right on red. When someone orders a pizza for a group and you take the last slice. Existing within the presence of a cop. Robin Hood infinite money glitch. Pigeons on the street don't belong to anybody. You can just take them. Cutting a pizza into a spiral. The estimated 56 billion animals born into this world with a death sentence. Mutilated and killed because humans like eating their flesh. Despite humans having absolutely no need to eat meat to live. Animals are just the middleman to the nutrition we can gain from plants. How Apple Incorporated avoids paying us taxes by having an Irish subsidiary own all of its patents and declaring all profits as licensing fees for the patents, which all go to their Irish subsidiary, that is, themselves, without paying us taxes.